So I put together um, a book called Adult Bedtime Stories. They're slightly erotic, some of them, more than others. And um, I'm going to read a story called Request, which is one of the cleaner ones. Because it's early in the evening, eh? <laughs> Request. He was lounging half-naked on the living room couch, one arm bent behind his head, a green pillow under his left knee staring sideways out the glass door when he called to her in the kitchen. I have a request, he said, still staring outside. It was early morning. The sky was just exposing the pink of her heavenly innards. The water for the coffee hadn't even begun to boil yet. I want to watch you create something. I want to watch you create a story, now. She paused. This was his nature. This is what she adored in him. He had the calm, absolute presence of death, and his requests were just as slicing. It always felt like he was testing her, rolling the dice, then asking her how much she had wagered. She could never disregard him or his requests. Yes, quests. This is what they felt like. And each time he asked, she felt the horse of her curiosity get wrangled while she thought to herself, yes, yes, good question. Yes, let's find out the answer. Yes, let's see what happens. She had no choice but to pursue. She had to be the servant if the horse was ever to run free again. To cage this horse would mean her demise. So each time he requested, it was a choice she made for life. This time he was asking her, on demand, in this moment, to push into herself and pull out something true, something unique, something beautiful, one of her precious stories. She accepted the challenge. All right, I'll create, and I'll let you watch me. She handed him a mug of coffee and retightened her blue bathrobe. She picked up a pen and reached for one of the pads of paper she had scattered around the house, ready for when inspiration struck her, unlike this occasion. There are many kinds of creation, but not all creations are equal. Some have the magic. Some live past the page. Their presence can be felt. That is what he wanted from her, to create her life. She sat at her small wooden table, the one that had been her friend, her companion for so many years. Time after time, word by word, with the pressure of her pen, she had pushed her stories into its surface. Another in your honor, she thought. Now the man on the couch turned his body full towards her and with a sober hunger stated his desire. I want to see where they come from. I want to watch them appear. I want to know how you catch them and pin them to the paper. Yes, he was right. She did have to stalk them, sniff them out. She had to be continually on guard, ready to pounce as they passed by. She knew how it felt when she entered that world. Her skin became spongy. She soaked things in, created events and characters which somehow she knew intimately. Each detail was worthy of being captured, and that was where the art in it lay. It was not possible to capture it all. One had to choose which details to expose. So many scenes are the same, but where will you place your attention? The eye or the finger? The voice or the sky? The breast or the mind? When you can't have it all, what will you choose to take with you? When you have the ability to direct another, where will you take them and how? How do you begin, he asked. I follow a thread of thought. Then I push the sand out of the way and let the story flow out. Her eyes warmed at him. She felt something rise and fall within her, like waves. The ocean inside wanted to spill out. Immediately she knew where to begin. She began to write. She wrote the th what she realized was the sexiest desire to her. The sentence she had said unknowingly to herself over and over again during her lifetime. But only now did she realize it. She could feel the lust in it, the wonder. She could feel the ability in the words. Now it was on the surface. Now it was exposed. 
Now it was pressed into the top of her wooden table. She felt a change in the room. He felt a change in the room. Something unseen had formed. His eyes closed. He felt new life present. She mouthed the words to herself which she had just written. I want to watch you create something. Yes, she thought. This is where the story always begins.